Aurora's going to do the intro. Dang it. I was trying to think of it. No, this is not what you're doing. I'm going to think of an intro. Do not put this in. Maybe. Now he's going to put it in because I said do not put this in. Which Disney dining spots are the bippity boppity best or the wickedest worst? That's the one. (laughs) I am back here with Aurora at her house to talk about more things that we like and today some things that we don't like. We're gonna be giving you our favorite and least favorite restaurants both in Disneyland and California Adventure. Now we're talking about permanent location restaurants, so sit down and quick service, but not so much ice cream carts and churro carts and turkey leg carts and things like that. Um, Restaurants is what we'll be talking about, starting with our favorite restaurants at California Adventures. Can I go first? Yes. Should I go first? Yes. Okay. I'll go first. My favorite Disney's California Adventure restaurant is kind of a cheat, but it's Corn Dog Castle. Mm. Corn Dog Castle. And it's kind of a cheat because you can get the same corn dogs at the Red Wagon on Main Street, which is like the traditional place to get them. But Corn Dog Castle not only has the best corn dogs, I think, ever. I don't even like corn dogs very much. I could munch down those things forever if they weren't $10 a piece. <laughs> but they're so good. They're big, hearty corn dogs covered in batter. And Corn Dog Castle also serves the cheese corn dogs, which is just a stick of cheddar cheese breaded, deep fried. That's delicious. Now, those don't have meat in them? Just a tube of cheese. I've never had that. I didn't know those were over there. You should have. I think the only time I actually had one myself was I have this memory of sitting outside Corn Dog Castle, looking across the way at the electrical light parade go by, but way back when it was still in California Adventure. Whoa. I miss that. Memories. The electric light parade was great. It was. If we do parades, it's up there. (laughs) What is your favorite restaurant at California Adventure? My favorite restaurant in California Adventure is a very hard choice. It is a hard choice. It's this. I have two that are tied, but this is the one I'm going to go with. Okay. My favorite is Smoke Jumpers Grill. Smoke Jumpers Grill. Is what it's called. The one right to the right of Soren. Yes. Yes. It used to be called Taste Pilot's Grill. Which is a funny name, because... Taste Pilot? Oh, because like Test Pilot, I never got (laughs) Bring Test Track. Anyway. cars. It's not Test Track. We've had this discussion off camera. (laughs) Smoke Jumpers Grill (laughs) time. Uh, I chose this one as my favorite, because for some reason, we... My family always ends up there. Mine does too. On every trip, we just end up eating there. It's true. Uh, It's not the best place to eat but it's right there and Mm -hmm. we just always eat there and i have a memory of eating outside and uh, i was nauseous and i felt like i was gonna throw up and i was eating chicken nuggets disney memories (laughs) but i didn't throw up i don't know why that's your good memory of a restaurant (laughs) because i didn't throw up and i their chicken nuggets sustained me throughout the day (laughs) I think it's funny you mentioned that restaurant because it's a good, safe restaurant. I mean, the food is perfectly fine, um, and it's like the only real restaurant in that area of the park, but it was a contender for my least favorite at California Adventure, (laughs) just because, like you said, the food isn't the best, um, but it's safe and it's it's tasty, so that's why it's not my least favorite. Spoilers. But speaking of least favorites, we're going on to our least favorite. No, we're not. No, we're not. He was joking. That was just a goof. Speaking of least favorite, we're going on to our most favorite. In Disneyland. Disneyland. That's how we're doing it. And keep you waiting for those least favorites. Because we know you like to be angry. You won't be angry. (laughs) (laughs) My favorite restaurant. Now, this is my favorite restaurant in any Disney park. Not just Disneyland, but obviously it's my favorite restaurant in Disneyland. Cafe Orleans on New Orleans Square. It is just... You know, I love Creole food. I love Cajun food. It's hard to find good Cajun food, especially where I am on the West Coast. Um, But Disneyland Cafe Orleans, just so tasty. It's very similar food to the Blue Bayou, um, but much less expensive. And I think the food is better. You don't get the atmosphere of the Blue Bayou, but it's super good food. If you haven't had one of their Monte Cristo sandwiches, go right now. Have you had one? No. All right, go right now. See you later at Cafe Orleans. See you. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) 
That was fun. Anyway, so what is your favorite Disneyland restaurant? My favorite Disneyland restaurant is the Plaza Inn. The Plaza Inn on Main Street? On Main Street. The very end and to the right? What? Straight? The don't ask me this right now. I'm not in Disneyland. It's the Plaza Inn on it's Main Street. It's the Plaza Inn on Main Street. I love the Plaza Inn because it's very cute. I like the aesthetic of it, and pink's my favorite color. So I like the pink. <laughs> it's like, pretty pink, isn't it? It is pink! Um, and I like... I think it's cute that they do character dining in the morning in the is park. Is that Goofy's Kitchen in the morning? Or is that... No, that's the Plaza Inn. Oh, it's still a Plaza Inn. You can Goofy's tell kitchen. I don't eat there much. <laughs> Goofy's Kitchen is in the Disneyland Hotel. Uh, and they have... That's their thing. Character dining all I day. I see. Plaza Inn does character designing for breakfast. Designing? Character designing. For breakfast. <laughs> For breakfast at the Plaza Inn. Um, and quick service for the rest of the day, yeah? Yes. Um, d do they have dinner? Do they have sit-down dinner? I don't think they do. I, I don't think, think it's they still do. quick service. Yeah. They only have breakfast. That's not quick service. Anyway. <laughs> I like the penne pasta. Penne pasta. Penne pasta. Um, it's another kind of like smoke jumpers. Just one that I, I always end end up at. Yeah. So like, it's just my favorite because I always go there. Um, one time I had, it might have been several times, at least one time <laughs> I had a birthday party there where they do the cake decorating contest. Ooh. I don't know if they still do that. No, you could do that. Yeah. So it was called Pat E. Cake's birthday party. <laughs> I love that. And the 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 host was Pat, so it could be either a girl or a boy. Okay. And um. They, it, they wore a chef's outfit, and all the kids were there for their birthdays. That's so It fun. was only like a birthday thing. You had to buy tickets or, I don't know. Well, yeah, you had to like pay to come in for your birthday. Um, so it was like a bunch of kids and their families. And you get, you know the Mickey Mouse kids, Mickey Mouse shaped kids meal plates? Yes. So... Everyone got one of those with a cake in the middle, the big, the, the big face part. Uh -huh. It was as big as Mickey's head right here, a little cake. And then frosting in one of the ears and sprinkles in the other ear. That's so fun. I've never heard of it. Yes. And I did that for my birthday <laughs> and at least once, maybe several times. I don't know. But yeah, that's such a happy memory. And there's a VHS tape somewhere in my house of <laughs> of that day, my birthday party. What you got? What you got? You and it was over, and it was time to eat our cakes, and Pat went around to all the kids, the birthday kids, and gave them a, a blue ribbon for doing a good job. Wow. And it was a sticker. And I didn't know that it was gonna be a sticker, because I think he told everyone that you're gonna get a ribbon at the end or something. But it was a sticker, and I was like, oh, it's a sticker, it's a sticker! Oh my gosh, mom, it's a sticker! And I just kept like, repeating it's a sticker over and over again and then pat came over to me and put my sticker on my mouth <laughs> my family never goes to that restaurant but the one time i did go was with you Yay! It's a cute place. It's a cute place. It's cute and nice, and that's a very happy memory I have. I love it there. <laughs> <laughs> but now, what you've been waiting for, or not, <laughs> I don't know. I like the worst. If I saw this video, I'd skip right halfway through. <laughs> the worst restaurants, uh, starting with Disney's California Adventure. In my opinion, my least favorite restaurant now, it's just hard because I love Disney food. Overall, I love Disney food, and yes. California Adventure... Uh, Aurora was saying to me before this video that there's not a lot of repeats like there's burgers here There's Mexican food here, you know There's a different location for every type of food. So yeah. if that's what you're in the mood for that's where you go But my least favorite restaurant in California Adventure is the Lucky Fortune Cookery <gasps> No way, that's not mine, but that was like close to it on the Pacific Wharf. It's Chinese food It's got that cool neon dragon over the top and I keep saying like oh Every time, well, I've eaten there two or three times, and every time I'm there, I'm like, Chinese food sounds good. I go and order it, and it's just kind of bland, and the meat's kind of chewy. It's, 
normal Disney price and subpar Disney quality. Mm -hmm. um, and I would go there, and then my brother, or mom, or whatever would get a chowder bowl or Mexican food, and I'd be like, I wish I got <laughs> that instead. Because the Pacific yeah. Wharf has some good food, and the Lucky Fortune Cookery is not it. Mm. My least favorite in California Adventure, I think I've only been in here one time, and the reason is it's just not worth seeing. Mm -hmm. It's, I think it's called the Boardwalk's Pizza and Pasta. It's, Where even is that? It's, uh, you'll put up a picture of it. It looks nice, but it's just pizza and pasta. Okay. And, uh, you know, nothing wrong with that. Like I said, it's so hard to choose a least favorite uh -huh. because there's nowhere else in that park with pizza and pasta, I think. Well, there might be one with pasta, but like, that's the thing. You're in California Adventure. You have all these food choices. You're going to get a slice of pizza. That's true. Like That's true. I've never even seen that place to tell you how unremarkable it is. I can't picture it, which is confusing to me because... <laughs> I know those parks. <laughs> yeah. You'll you'll know it when you see it. I won't eat at it, though. No. Unless I won't. We'll eat a clam chowder sourdough bowl. Yes. <laughs> Clip art of a sourdough bowl. <laughs> there it is. It looks so tasty. Oh, I put my hands out. Here you oh, go. You made a mess <laughs> when you dropped it on the floor. <laughs> How about our least favorite restaurants in Disneyland? All right. You think this is going to be controversial, or you think people are going to be like, yeah, I see it? Ugh. It's gonna be controversial. Well, I'll start with mine. Um, this restaurant, I gotta admit, okay, I haven't eaten, I think I've eaten at it when I was too young to remember it. So the food might be better than I think it is. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about the Hungry Bear Restaurant, <gasps> I believe it's called. Oh, yeah. Way back in the third country. It's all the way back, it's past Splash Mountain. There's nothing to do there besides Winnie the Pooh, which it's I love. Um, but the restaurant's kind of nothing. It's not themed super, like Critter Country's kind of whatever theming as is it's yeah. not very specific um and then the hungry bear it just serves burgers and fries yeah just kind of cheeseburger it really i mean if you're a burger person sure go spend 12 bucks on a disney burger but when there's so much good food in disneyland yeah i don't see what you're doing in there besides using the bathroom because that's the only bathroom south of the haunted mansion yeah uh, I think it used to have better theming when the Country Bear Jamboree Right, because it made there. sense. And yeah. it still has, like, I think the sign still has the Country Bears on it. I can't be sure about that. I, I could be wrong. it does. Anyways, it's kind of just a sad remnant of yeah. what the Jamboree was, That's I guess. sad, and I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. My l least favorite in Disneyland, in Disneyland I'm sure it's going to make someone mad. Uh, it's Pizza Planet. That was my second choice. <laughs> Pizza Planet, there's nothing wrong with the food. It's just, every time I eat there, I go through, I grab what I want, uh -huh. I go and I sit down in like a random ugly dining room or outside. It doesn't feel very futuristic in there, does it? And it's just like, I'm sitting and I'm eating and I'm like, why am I eating here? <laughs> Y'all, Tomorrowland sucks. Tomorrowland's not good what right now. What is futuristic about Pizza and pasta, besides that one slice of pizza, is like $11. I mean, that's the future, I suppose. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's kind of sad. Hey, how about this Tomorrowland idea? Um, Add futuristic things? Have the plants that you take your, like, spinach leaves or tomatoes from okay. visible. Hmm. Because, like... Like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, plants. Plants is the future. Plants is the future. So why not? Ha <laughs> why not make it like a realistic future? I do got to say that's the one thing I like about Tomorrowland is that all the plants there are edible or grow edible so things. So why don't you make that part of the highlight? Yeah, tear down pizza plant. Ain't nobody want that. <clears throat> right now, it's Alien Pizza Planet for I Pixar Fest, which ends today. Okay. Well, anyways, it's been <laughs> Alien Pizza Planet, and they're upgraded future for Pizza Planet was to put m mustard and sausage on a pizza, hamburger pizza. It's just not a, it's not worth it. You know, forget Hungry Bear Restaurant. Pizza Planet is the worst. Have we been to, oh, it's Pizza it's, Port. Is it Pizza Port? Pizza Planet is what it should be. That's the Toy Story restaurant. <laughs> That's so stupid. That was another reason to hate Pizza Port, because it should be Pizza it Planet. It should be Pizza Planet! Y'all, just tear down, okay? There's your poll question for today. Do you like Pizza Planet or hate it? It's Pizza Planet. <laughs> it's Pizza Planet. I'm a try again. There's your poll question for today. Is that the right corner? Yes. 
Do you love Pizza Planet? Holy moly. <laughs> Pizza for holy moly. <laughs> There's your poll question for today. Do you love pizza port or do you hate it? Because I hate it. I think we decided. <laughs> and tell me in the comments below what is your personal favorite and least favorite Disneyland and DCA restaurant. And if uh, Disney World is your home park, then do the Disney World parks. There's a lot of restaurants to choose from there. Ooh, don't think too hard. Just <laughs> pick your favorite. Favorite's easy. Least yeah. favorite, if you wanna. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Disneylander. I don't know how to end videos at all. Put put this. This is now your new outro. Disneylander. Dun, you have dun, to do the dun. next okay, level. Okay, let's try again. Next time on. Dis Wait, which way we go for right first? Okay. Next time on Disneylander. Thanks so much. Thank you. Wow. Thanks once again for watching this Disneylander. I'm gonna be back home making normal Disneylanders here pretty soon. I've got another Versus in the works and no spoilers, but it's one that a lot of you have been asking for. So if you enjoyed this video, share it and we'll hear, see you from us real good soon times.